Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to watch Netflix in Full HD on any rooted Android phone. So as you might be aware, once you root your phone, not only will it trip the safety net, but the wide one L1 certification will be downgraded to L3. As a result of this, you will not be able to watch Netflix, Hulu or Amazon Prime Plus or any DRM content in Full HD. But using a nifty workaround, I'll show you how to watch all this content in Full HD and bring back the wide one L1 certification on your rooted phones. Once that happens, you could then easily watch all the content in Full HD. So for the sake of reference, I'm using the Netflix app, but the steps are applicable across all the streaming services. Likewise, the steps are, I am doing so on a Lineage OS custom ROM, but you could carry out the steps across all the phones and across all the custom ROM or the stock ROM. With that said, let's get started. So just to show you currently, my phone is rooted by Magisk and as of now is wide one L3 certification. So I'll now show you how to get back the L1 certification and then watch the content in Full HD. So first and foremost, you have to hide the Magisk app. So launch the Magisk app, then tap on the settings icon at the top right and now tap on hide the Magisk app. You will now have to rename it to something else. So for the sake of reference, I am renaming it to Droidwin. You could give it any name of your choice and then tap on OK. So it will now hide the Magisk app and in our case, it will now be renamed as Droidwin. So let me, it's also bringing a prompt to add shortcut to home screen. I don't want a shortcut, so I'm tapping on cancel. It's completely optional. And now let me show you, as you could see, the Magisk app is no longer there on my phone. The app icon has been removed and the app has been renamed to Droidwin. So from now onwards, Droidwin is the new Magisk app in my case. So once that is done, you now have to install the systemless host module. So launch the Magisk app, then tap on the settings icon and now tap on systemless host. This will add the module. So go back, go to module section and make sure the module is up and running. So now you have to enable Zygesk. So go to the Magisk homepage, then tap on the settings icon and now enable the toggle next to Zygesk. It will now ask you to restart a phone. We will not do a restart now. We will do a restart after flashing a module. So go back and now you have to flash the module which is named as universal safety is fixed module. So download the module from the link given in my guide and let's now flash it onto our phone. So go to the launch the magic tab, go to the modules tab, tap on install from storage and now let's select the module and we'll flash it as well. So this is the safety net fix module, select it and tap on OK and the module will now be flashed. Once that is done, you could now restart your phone and upon restart, the digest will now be enabled onto our phone and we could then proceed ahead. Do keep in mind that while we are flashing and carrying out this task, the boot up might take a few additional seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's just wait for the module to be flashed and then we will proceed ahead with the next step. So the boot up will only take a few more seconds. And this is the boot animation. It might vary depending on the ROM that you are using. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. So now that we have flashed the module and enabled Zygisk, let's verify the same. So launch the Magisk app. And as you could see, we are getting yes next to Zygisk. Now go to the module section and make sure the safety net fixed module is up and running. Likewise, the systemless host module should be also enabled. Once you have enabled both this module and the Zygisk is turned on, let's now move on to the next step. So you will now have to hide the route from a few Google apps as well as the Netflix app. So tap on the settings icon of Magisk. Now enable the toggle next to enforce deny list and now tap on configure deny list. From here, tap on the OF icon at the top right and check mark show system app. But this all the system apps are now visible. So we will now have to hide the route from the following three apps and the fourth app if it's there on your phone. It's only available on some phones and some custom ROM. So if it's there on your phone, we will hide the route from that app as well. So let's do this task. First off, let's search for the play service. So let's do that and it's a Google Play service. So make sure to enable the toggle next to all, all its services. Once that is done, next up is the Google Play Store. So let's do that as well. And again, make sure to enable the toggle next to all the services. Third one is the Google Service Framework. So let's search this app as well and enable the toggle next to all the services. The final one is the Google Play Protect service. It's only there on some phones and some custom ROM. So let me check if it's there on my phone or not. So it's not there in my phone. If it's there on your phone or your ROM, make sure to enable the toggle next to this app as well. Once that is done, you now have to hide the route from the Netflix app. So let's do that, expand it and make sure to 
चकमक ऑल इज पॉगल सो एज ऑफ नाउ गूगल प्ले सर्विस गूगल प्ले स्टोर गूगल सर्विस फ्रेमवर्क एंड इफ गूगल प्ले प्रोडक्ट सर्विस देर इन ऑन योर फोन हाइड द रूट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग फोर एप्स एंड देन हाइड द रूट फ्रॉम नेटफ्लिक्स वंस दैट इज डन यू विल नॉट हैव टू रिमूव द डेटा ऑफ ऑल दिस फोर एप्स एज वेल डो कीप इन माइंड दैट रिमूविंग द डेटा ऑफ नेटफ्लिक्स विल साइन यू आउट ऑफ योर अकाउंट सो यू विल हैव टू रिसाइन टू योर अकाउंट दैट नॉट अ कॉज ऑफ एनी इशू सो लेट्स प्रोसीड अहेड सो गो टू द सेटिंग्स मेन्यू ऑन योर फोन फ्रॉम हेयर गो टू एप्स देन सी ऑल एप्स टैप ऑन द ऑफ आइकन एंड चेक मार्क शो सिस्टम बट दिस ऑल द सिस्टम एप्स आर नॉट विजिबल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ लेट्स सर्च फॉर द प्ले सर्विस go there go to storage and cache section tap on minus space and tap on clear all data and tap on okay next up is the google play store so let's search for that as well and go to storage and cache tap on clear storage tap on delete so with this we have remo remove the data as well then is the google service framework so let's search for that as well go to storage and cache clear storage and tap on delete The final one is the Google Play Project service. If it's there on your phone, make sure to remove its data as well. Once that is done, you now have to remove the data of the Netflix app. So let's do that as well. Search for Netflix and go to Storage and Cache section. Tap on Clear Storage and tap on Delete. But this we have removed the data of all these four apps, and now you have to restart your phone. This restart is compulsory. So let's just do a restart now, and your phone could take a few. Additional seconds to boot up. That's completely normal. And upon the restart, we should now be passing both the safety net test, which is the basic integrity, and CTS profile match test. And once we have passed both these tests, we could now easily use Netflix in full HD without any issues. So let me show you that as well. But before that, I will show you a bug, which is just a UI bug. But still, you should be aware of that bug. So let's wait for a phone to boot up, and I'll make you aware of that issue as well. And then we'll put move ahead to our next step. So let's just wait for the time frame. Okay, so now you should launch the Magisk app onto your phone, and then go to the settings menu. And if you go to the denial section, you could see the Google service framework is unchecked, and the Google Play service is missing from this list. So both these things are just a UI bug in the front end. In the back end, everything is working well and good. So it's not a cause of any concern. Just to repeat, if service framework is unchecked and Play service is missing, that's not a cause of any issues. So with that said, let's now move ahead and. Check the safety net test. For that, I'm using the Yasnak app. You could install the app from Play Store. Once installed, launch the app, go online, and now tap on Run Safety Net Attestation. So as of now, you could see we are passing both these tests. And if you now launch the Netflix app, you should now be able to watch the content in full HD. Let me show you that as well. So currently, I am now signing to my account. So it will take a few seconds. Let me do so. So you have to tap on your account at the top right. and from there you have to go to app settings and then choose playback specification so as you could see we are now getting the wide band l1 certification and the playback is full hd just to show you once again my phone is currently rooted by magisk and as you could see from here and if i launch the root checker app as well and tap on verify root as you could see my phone is currently rooted so as you could see i am getting wide band l1 certification and it's full hd and as i have shown you my phone is rooted by magisk as well if in some cases you are still facing any issues i have tried and tested this on a poco f4 on linear os rom as well as on my pixel 6a phone and across all these three phones i had faced no issues but in rare cases if you are still facing any issues and if it's still showing as l3 and over here is showing as s3 then you will have to flash a module i have linked the module over here the name of the module is DRM module or to be more specific, Lib OEM Crypto Disable module. So you now have to flash this module onto your phone as well. If it's still showing as L3, then just transfer the module onto your phone. Then launch the Magisk app. Go to Module section. Tap on Install from Storage, and just select this module and tap on OK. And with this, the module has been flashed. Now what you have to do is remove the data of the Netflix app by going to its App Info page and Storage and Cache. Then tap on Clear Storage. Tap on Delete. With this, the data will be removed. and then you have to restart your phone okay so let me do that as well and now once you remove the data now you have to restart your phone and once you do a restart it should then show as l1 so as i was saying i did not need this module because in fact in spite of the module i was able to get the l1 certification and i was able to watch netflix in full hd on my rooted phones regarding the phone which i have tested is the pixel 6a getting the stock rooted android 13 then one is the poco f4 and the third one is the lineage os Android 13 based on Android 20. So 
So plus all these three ROMs, I have done both the stock and custom ROM. I did not need this module. But in rare cases, if you're still showing as L3, then please flash this module, remove the Netflix app data, and then you have to restart your phone once. Once you now do a restart, just go to the module section of Magis and make sure that the module is up and running, as you can see in my case. And now if you launch Netflix, you will get the wide one L1 certification. And as you could see, I'm still getting the wide one L1 and the full HD on my rooted phone. As you could see from here, my phone is currently rooted by Magisk. And I'm passing both the tests. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.